talk about the next generation of power devices. The need for miniaturization and improved power conversion efficiency, especially in industrial and consumer electronics, has made wideband gap GAN power devices more attractive than ever before. But cost and performance have been challenges for GAN power devices. Until now, that is. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Kengo Omori from Rome Semiconductor and I examine the details and benefits of Rome Semiconductor's new lineup of EcoGAN Power Stage ICs that can reduce the component count by 99% and the power loss of your next design by 55%. We also investigate Rome's ultra high speed control IC technology called Nano Pulse Control that maximizes the performance of GAN devices. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Rome Semiconductor. Hi, Kengo. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, hey, thank you. So, Kengo, we're talking about EcoGAN and Nano Pulse Control GAN solutions today. But before we dig into the details, Rome offers a wide variety of power products, right? Can you give us a brief rundown on those? Okay. One of Rome's goals as a company is to be a complete power solutions provider for our customers. This includes individual power devices, power integrated circuits, power modules, and key passive devices. As you can see in the upper left, Rome has power transistors and diodes built in three different technologies, silicon carbide, silicon, and our newest offering highlighted in yellow, gallium nitride. By offering power devices in all three semiconductor technologies, customers can select the best technology to meet their requirements for power, voltage, current, switching frequency, and cost. Highlighted in yellow here in the middle are Rome's latest ICs in support of our GAN technology offerings, the DC to DC controller for GAN and the gate drivers for GAN. Throughout this talk today, we will be focusing on the three new GAN-related power products shown on this slide. Excellent. Now, Kengo, the type of device and material determines what kind of power and operating frequency bands we're talking about, right? Yeah, this can help you make the best selection of process technology to meet your application needs. The graph has switching frequency on the x-axis and switching power on the y-axis. On the graph, you can see IGBTs at the far left with the tan background color. These are limited to only very low switching frequency, but are able to handle extremely high switching power. Silicon power MOSFETs occupy the bottom middle of the graph, highlighted with a green background. They definitely support higher switching frequencies than IGBTs, but not as much switching power. Silicon superjunction MOSFETs are often ideal for lower cost, high volume applications that do not have the extreme performance requirements that necessitate moving to one of the other technologies. In the blue shading, directly above silicon is silicon carbide. Like GAN, silicon carbide is being used much more often these days with the advantages in electrification for EVs, renewable energy, industrial power, and more. Silicon carbide supports both extremely high powers and relatively high switching frequencies. Finally, on our graph at the lower right are the GAN devices. These support medium power levels similar to silicon MOSFETs, but at much higher switching frequencies that reach into the megahertz range. The higher switching frequencies provide opportunities to reduce the size of power solutions and increase power density. This makes them ideal for power supplies in data center server, telecom base stations, and even EVs. 
Okay, so let's get into the details of the EcoGAN. What kind of components are we looking at for this solution? Okay, so we will start with one of the key advantages of working with Roam. We can provide this complete application solution. Every product on this slide is a new offering from Roam. The DC to DC controllers on the left include our nanopulse control that supports high speed switching. In the middle are our single channel and half bridge gauge drivers. And finally, on the right are the 150 volt low voltage discrete eco gun. Excellent. Now, Kengo, what are the major advantages of Rome's eco gun technology? Okay, these systems typically have a nominal gauge drive of 5 volts. To maximize efficiency, the goal is to switch on as quickly as possible. However, due to the parasitic inductance and capacitance of these systems, high-speed switching will result in an overshoot of the gauge voltage. Most of these transistors have a gauge to source voltage limit of only 6 volt, so it doesn't take much of an overshoot to result in damage, as illustrated in the red curve. As shown in the bottom left curve, the typical solution for existing products is to add an external series gate register to dampen the switching. However, this slows the light time, as you can see, which reduces system efficiency. The long 150 volt eco gun shown in blue at right has a VGS rating of 8 volts. This is 33% higher than the typical 6 volt limit and allows the low gun power transistor to switch rapidly without worrying about the gauge breakdown. So, no external gate register is required, allowing you to maximize your system performance. So, what about the transistor for the EcoGAN? Can you give us some details about that? So, they are packaged in a mold resin package that includes a copper clip electrical connection for lower parasitic inductance. In the lower left corner, you can see the specification differences between our three models. You can select between 5, 10, and 20 amp currents and drain source resistance from 40 down to 8.5 milliohms. These characteristics make them ideal for data centers, base stations, industrial rider, and more. So, can we also talk about the drivers as well? Okay, these two single channel gate drivers are optimized for young applications. I want to call your attention to a few key points. First is the 3 nanosecond typical propagation delay. This improves overall system efficiency. Secondary, the small 6-pin package minimizes board space. The Dash LB product variant has long-term product support from ROM, making it excellent for industrial applications. The Dash C product variant is AECQ100 Grade 1 qualified for automotive applications, so you can select the variant that is most suited to your applications. We now change our attention from the single channel gauge drivers to our half bridge gauge driver optimized for GAN transistors. Providing two drivers inside a single package reduces your system footprint. This is an industrial grade half bridge gauge driver that provides an excellent 16 nanosecond typical propagation delay. At Rome, we have designed this to prevent the high side bootstrap capacitor from overcharging by synchronizing operation with the low side gate. So, what would this half bridge driver look like in a system design? Here, we looked at a 48 to 12 volt DC to DC back converter. In the graph at the bottom left, the silicon solution is limited to switching frequencies below 1 MHz. You can see in the red curve, the silicon solution quickly reaches thermal limits at 1 MHz. Moving over to the right graph, the GAN solution allows switching frequencies up to 2 MHz at high frequencies. 
Okay, so you mentioned space saving earlier as well as a benefit of EcoGAN. What kind of space savings are we really looking at? The GAN solution provides a 91% reduction in area and a 94% reduction in volume. This means more functionality in a much smaller form factor with improved energy density. As systems continue to integrate more functionality into even smaller spaces, that means fewer parts, reduced area, and increased system power density. So, Kengo, what does the product roadmap look like for both low voltage and high voltage GAN? As you can see here, we are continuing to rapidly expand our product lines. This includes adding multiple voltage options for the EcoGAN power transistors, new generations of our EcoGAN devices, new advanced package solution such as the dual cool package with top and bottom side cooling, complete modules, gate driver ICs, and even more controllers with our nanopulse control technology. Now we are going to take a detailed look at Loam Semiconductor's 650 volt high voltage GAN products. The first two products in this new family are transistors with 70 and 150 milliohm on resistance. In the DFN package, these are recently announced in our global launch and are ready for mass production today. Moving down to row 2 and 3, you can see that ROM will soon be releasing devices in the TOLL package for improved heat dissipation. Looking further out, we plan to expand to additional package options including the DFN5060 and dual side cooling. Keep an eye out for our 25 million version for the highest power applications. And finally, we will be launching automotive grade versions in the coming years. Okay, so Kengo, what about that high voltage 650 volt GAN device? Can you give us some more details about that one? Okay, these are enhancement mode devices, which is normally off. These include a built-in ESD diode, fast switching, and zero reverse recovery. We currently have two options with own resistance of 70 and 150 milliohms. Package and pin is compatible with our competitors' devices, but will provide good performance for easy replacement to quickly update your system. Let's take a look at a few other metrics versus our competitors. The graph demonstrates the improved efficiency of ROM 650 volt discrete GAN devices shown with the yellow lines. The turn on energy loss is reduced by 10% and turn off energy loss is reduced by 60%. This is due to our better FOM figure of merit. So can you talk to me a bit about your system and package offerings as well? We are actively developing system in package products. Across this roadmap, you can see a wide variety of solutions. The leftmost on this chart is a power stage with a gate driver integrated with the 650 volt GAN transistors. Just to the right of that is a half bridge power stage that includes two GAN transistors. There are also several IP designs like the QR flyback design under development in that top row that will include everything like the controller, the gate driver, and the 650 volt GAN transistor in a single package. These SIP products will simplify your designs, allow you to design smaller, more efficient products, improve your system reliability, and even simplify your supply chain with single components replacing a number of products. And then this slide contains a lot of key specifications for two of our 650 volt GAN power stage SIPs. Each combines a gate driver with the GAN transistor into a single compact 8mm by 8mm package 
that image at right lets you look inside the package to see the gauge driver, the GAN power device transistor, and some of those wire bond connections. There are too many specifications to cover them all today, but I do want to draw your attention to a couple of them. First is the wide input voltage range of 2.5 to 30 volts. Secondary, the low propagation delay of only 15 nanoseconds. These SIPs are available in two ohm resistance values, 70 and 150 milliohms, and they are ideal for power modules, inverters, and much more. Excellent. Now, Kengo, if my audience wants to get started using one of these solutions, do you guys have an evaluation board to help them out? Here, we have low voltage eval boards, a LiDAR application, a half bridge, a back converter, and a boost converter. Two of these are available today and have the supporting documentation you need to accelerate your product development, testing, and validation. In addition, we have two evaluation boards in support of our 650 volt GAN products. The first is a 100 watt quasi resonant AC to DC converter. The second is a 240 watt boundary condition mode PFC converter. As you have seen from our product roadmaps and production schedule, there's always something new at Rome. So keep an eye out for more Eval boards just like these. Excellent. Well, Kengo, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your time today. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Rome Semiconductor. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal. Journal.